Welcome to your BlackBerry tutorial. This is the BlackBerry 8700 and what I want to do is just run you through a few of the options here in order to make this work. So on the right hand side you have the toggle bar and that allows you to toggle back and forth. See how it sort of moves when I toggle there? And this is the back button. So if we go into something, we click it down and it goes in. We click it back and it goes back. This is your sort of default screen. You have your message button here. You have your address book. tells you what you're looking at down here. You have your call log and you have your calendar. Other things of note are things like your tasks, which is like your to-do list, um, post-its, and some other stuff. Here's a volume, a profile, I should say. The profile allows you to turn off your pesky uh, BlackBerry when you're in a meeting, and you can uh, save it, save everyone else from hearing your special tune by enabling the quiet mode, and it shows up with this kind of icon. So in order to enable something, you basically scroll the, the side wheel up to what you want, and then press in on it, and it reveals a menu. Then you can go and you can edit that particular profile depending on what you want to have uh, vibrate. So if you want just phone calls to vibrate or what have you. So I'm just going to turn it on to phone only. The next thing we can do is a really cool option is to turn off your dial from the home screen because down here you have a bunch of keys that you can press. So for example, instead of scrolling all the way up to the messages and clicking on it to go to your messages, you can just be down here and you can press the letter M and M will jump you to the messages. Or you can press L and that jumps you to your calendar and some other key combinations. So in order to turn that on, what you do is go into the phone, which is the green button here, and then click on your mouse, go down to your options, and then go to general options, and then you want dial from the home screen turned off. So you click on that, go change option, change it to yes or no, in your case it will be on yes, turn it to no, and then click again and go save. When the button is not pressed, you can't jump to the messages and some of the other cool combinations I'm going to show you. Because what happens is, if we go here and turn it on, let's go into options, general options, dial from the home screen, yes. What this does is it just dials from the home screen. So instead of pressing M, to do something. See how it doesn't do that? I press 2 and it's going to dial from that home screen. So that's your first taste. Hopefully that's been enjoyable for you.